Welcome to the Equity Team Podcast, where we provide Sedona, Arizona real estate insight to help you thrive during your next real estate transaction. Welcome back, investors, to another episode. I'm Chad McMahon with the Equity Team, short-term rental investment and luxury specialists. And today we've got a special guest, Tammy. Tammy is a client and she's also a property manager. And Tammy, thanks for joining us. This is awesome. Thank you, Chad. You bet. You bet. So I've got, as always, I've got a bunch of questions. I'm just going to dive in because I want this to be, the whole goal is always is good information for our audience. So uh, really helpful stuff. So the first thing is when uh, we were going through the purchase kind of process, uh, how was that process for you being an escrow and inspections? How did that go for you? Well, for us, it was quite a whirlwind. Um, the, the escrow part, the loan part was fine. You know, they just needed a bunch of documents every single day. But <laughs> for me, as you know, this was already a short-term rental and it was already on all the platforms and it had existing bookings after our closing. So I had to kind of, other than getting all the documents together, learn all the tech figure out my listing, figure out my cleaner, all in what I considered a pretty short amount of time. So it was, it was a lot, but uh -huh. it was great. And now I know it all I've learned. It was a great learning experience for me. So yeah, it was a crash course for you. That's for sure. And just to further clarify for our audience. So with this particular property, um, it was managed by a local short-term rental property manager and you decided, and I'm really glad you decided to do this. It's such a good fit for you, but you decided to self-manage this puppy. And mm -hmm. so you really had to find your own network of resources and you found some really great people really quickly and you're crushing it. You're doing it phenomenally well. Thank you. So, yeah, it was really yeah. important to us when we went into this. I didn't want to just pay the bills and collect the checks and have nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. We have been a guest on... Airbnb or whatever platform for so many years. And we've had such great interactions with the hosts and they've really been able to make our experience what it was. And I just wanted to do that for other people. I wanted to show people a good time, you know, mm -hmm. guest communication is a, is a huge thing for me. Yeah, absolutely. It's so critical, not just for the reviews, mm -hmm. but it is so critically important all around. Now, yeah. for other investors, just so that you know, if you're considering self-managing, some people like myself included, by the way, I, I don't self-manage because I am so crazy busy and I'm so hyper-focused on helping my clients, you know, acquire these properties and get them to the point where they are successful short-term rentals as quickly as humanly possible so that you're not just floating it out there making mortgage payments or whatever it may be with no income. So... I just focus on that and I don't want to manage and I don't have room in, in what I'm doing for management. But if you're considering self-management, just know that most of the resources that you're going to need in terms of local laborers and all of that, most of that, I have that for you. And I can, I can help you in this case, you know, thanks to Tammy, I actually have uh, a new cleaner on my list. Who's absolutely phenomenal. And, uh, but I've got, you know, a lot of those other things that you would need. And uh, um, just like with Tammy, Tammy's really picked it up quickly and she's done a ton of her own research as well, but I can also help give you guidance so that you're able to, you know, to transition into that self-management role. Um, now, how is your property doing now? Well, it's great. I mean, we came out of the gate with a bunch of reservations on the books. And mm -hmm. so it was great because we were able to start with, you know, get, get reviews right away. So that yeah. was awesome. Um, yeah. we've been busy the whole time. However, bookings have, it, it kind of went into a little bit of a lull there mm -hmm. kind of in the beginning. Um, so what I did is I kind of reviewed the listing, which I really just copied from that property manager I copied everything she had. It was uh -huh. enough just to learn everything. And, you know, because I wanted to make these people feel comfortable that they were coming to the same place. So I didn't want to change anything about it. Uh -huh. um, so 
I did look at the listing and discovered there were a few things about it that could be tweaked. I did a few changes here and there and bookings started again. So I don't know if that was just coincidence or what, but yeah. I'm going with it. And it seems like at the end of each month, we've just filled up. So, and I think a lot of our, our reservations are from Phoenix and last minute, which is awesome because mm -hmm. hopefully they will be repeat guests. That's right. Yeah. And that mm -hmm. can really feed direct bookings and things like that in the future as well. Yeah. And by the way, uh, just to kind of pile on there, you know, not only did things pick up for you with bookings, but uh, I know it comes in waves, but it really kind of exploded for you. I mean, you had one day in particular, as I recall you telling me, you had three bookings come in on one day, and uh, that's a good feeling. <laughs> when you see it was that. amazing. Yeah, it was yeah. amazing. Yeah, so it's just, it's filling up and it's doing great. I know it's going to be an awesome 2024 for that property. Um, by the way, one little piece of clarification, um, this one happens to be in Cottonwood. A lot of clients, they want uh, short-term rentals in Sedona. Some clients, they want them in Cottonwood. It depends on a lot of factors. But in this case, it was absolutely perfect. Everything lined up um, like the planets just aligned and for this property in Cottonwood for you. So oh, for sure. They really yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. I remember looking over Airbnb, the, you know, the kind of the listings and their schedules just to see, you know, are people even booking here? And as I was randomly looking through, I saw the listing for this house and in my ratty little voice. I said, I just want that house. That's the house I want. <laughs> and then you texted us two weeks later and said, yeah. Hey, I think I found the perfect place for you. Yeah. And I took a look at it and I said, Oh, wow. Yep. He did. He yeah. found the perfect one. Yeah. Yeah. And that property, of course, you don't, you know this, but no one else does that property. Um, you know, it was owned and rented out by other clients of mine that decided to sell. They were kind of liquidating stuff here and, and moving to a different area and their occupancy was good. Uh, it was, it was solid. Uh, but of course yours is now better. You know, yours is outperforming how it was before. Um, but yeah, it's just worked out perfectly. And that that day that I'd reached out to you, I, I knew that I was going to be listing it for sale. And so we were able to start talking about it. And then, you know, I put it on the market and a few hours later, uh, or less than a few hours later of it being on market, we had that in contract and just move forward. It was really pretty easy. So, so what would yeah, you say really cool. about, it was really cool. It worked out perfectly. Yeah. It was just mm -hmm. amazing. So what would you say about your property that has really helped your short-term rental performance? I would say the hot tub. I mean, I get so many messages from people, especially the existing <clears throat> reservations. I think I have, I think I have two to get through still, but mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of those people message me and say, Hey, is the hot tub still there? Is yeah. the hot tub working? <laughs> you know, we're so excited yep. to soak after a day of adventure or whatever they say. Yeah. And so I think it's the hot tub and I think the location in general, um, it's a pretty amazing location. The front of the house is just, it's a beautiful, clear it view is. to um, the open space and Mingus Mountain. Yeah, yeah that's true. Mm -hmm. A lot of people forget that Cottonwood has nice views too. You know, it's not just Sedona yeah. and, um, and it helps. It's not necessary to have that, but it's a boost all around. It's a boost to property value and your cash flow and the whole bit. So really helps with occupancy, really helps with reviews, um, a lot yeah. of important things like that. Now, I know, because I've been to your property many times um, with you and all of that, and I know you've already made uh, some improvements to that property, uh, both cosmetically, both functionally. So do you plan to make, and of course, I already know a lot of this answer, but it's good for other people to hear it themselves too. Do you plan to make further improvements uh, to the property to kind of further boost your ADR, your occupancy, things like that? For sure. Yeah. Um, one thing I was going to say is that we were there for a bit in February and were able to change the entire garage into a game room. Mm -hmm. So I, I do believe that will be a draw, like in terms of your last question. I think that's going to be a future draw. We did just have pictures retaken. So now it's finally up and mm -hmm. people can see. Um, but also, we did a privacy fence around the entire backyard 
which I think is super important because unlike the front of the house, the back of the house, just it's such a huge property that mm -hmm. I think I have like four or five different properties that kind of join up to the back of, of mine. And, mm -hmm. you know, you can just see right in, there's no privacy at all. Some of them have yeah. dogs that love to bark when they see people coming out and it's just not very, it, it wasn't very inviting. So yeah. I think the privacy fence is the first of many things we will do in that backyard to mm -hmm. make it more inspiring for people to kind of want to hang out out there. And we really want to match the, um, the vibe of the outside with the vibe mm -hmm. of the inside, which is yeah. awesome. That's yeah. good. So, and in terms of what we are planning on doing, you know, we, um, we are going to do new siding on the house and new windows. We are mm -hmm. going to change a few existing windows to sliding glass doors just to kind of create again, just a nice seamless indoor outdoor vibe. Yeah. Um, and, you know, more for really the functionality of the house as well as making it prettier in pictures. Yeah. It's an, it's an older property. And I believe that the siding and the windows are probably as old as the property. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. it just needs to be done, but yeah, I agree. And we'll it's probably look amazing. put a swing spa. Yeah. yeah. I think it's going to be great. And the mm -hmm. biggest thing we're, we'll, we're <clears throat> going to follow your advice and do the swim spa. Mm -hmm. So I yeah, think that'll I, be awesome. Yeah, you know, you're you're already seeing great occupancy and all of that, but it's going to further boost that um, mm -hmm. and it's going to help you with things like, you know, one of our biggest challenges uh, when we own these short term rentals is those weekdays, those pesky weekdays, because you'll get your weekends, mm -hmm. they get booked. And then it's really hard on those weekday chunks, you know, three, four day stretches that are just sitting there, you know, vacant. And that's OK. But when you have things like swim spa or in-ground pool, something like that. People will book longer stays there too. It really helps with those days. And yeah. of course that just feeds everything. Not only do you make more money uh, with higher occupancy on those months, but it's going to book out more and benefit your future months because bookings build on bookings. It's just, it just works that way. Um, exactly. Now, Tammy, I, I know you've shared a lot of info with me and, and obviously I know the property well. Um, it's it's really clear to me with, you know, everything I know about your your eye for detail and your attention to quality and your bookings and your rates and reviews and the, the guest experiences that you're having that are really positive, that you have a you have a real knack, a real gift for the short term rental property management. So you, as I understand it, you are accepting a small number of clients right now, um, clients and properties right now. So is that correct, first of all? And is there anything you want to add to that? Well, thank you, first of all, for saying that. <laughs> I speak <laughs> my mind, nice as you, you know. <laughs> I speak my mind. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I have discovered it's a huge passion of mine. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I am taking on just a very few amount yeah. of clients at this point. Yeah. Um, starting slow is a good thing. Um, I, like we said, you know, this is, this is our first STR. This is my first little bit of hosting. Yeah. I know I love it. I do have 30 years. I am that old of customer service. I've been in that industry for a very long time. So I have a lot of experience with that. So that's what I can bring to the table for sure. Guest communication, you know, all of that. Um, but yeah, I, I have not been doing this for long, but I think I'm good at it and I mm -hmm. want to get better. I want to learn. I'm a fast learner and yeah, I'm taking on yeah. people for sure. Yep, yeah. I love it. That's awesome. Now, as you know, uh, leverage marketing and, and effective property management, you know, they're two of the most critical factors uh, that determine the success of a short term round. There are a lot of other factors, too, but they're really, really important. So you seem to have those parts nailed. And, and what are a few unique short term rental property management things that that you do uh, that kind of help with that short term rental performance? You know, anything that comes to mind that that you feel is unique? that you uh, add to the equation? Well, besides my eye for detail down to mm -hmm. the smallest thing of what mm -hmm. I know people will want and like 
at a, yeah. at a short-term rental, I will come into the home and spend a few days there just to get to know every single little piece of that home, every corner, mm -hmm. every quirk. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when I would do the house manual, the digital guidebook, Mm -hmm. and really just kind of get, get a feel for the place, get to know what it needs. And, um, yeah, that's, yeah. and I'm, I'm working with a great designer too, for anybody who needs uh, like more of a full setup. Yeah. You know, one of the things that I think is, is really underrated and I was really impressed with what you had done at your property is your guidebook. It's, it's the best, most modern, easy to use, um, you know, well-informed, uh, easy to look at guidebook I've ever seen at a short-term rental. And I didn't tell you that before. So it's, it's oh, very, you. very good. You know, it has a lot of resources like, um, you know, QR codes throughout the home and in the guidebook and things like that. That's just one of many things that you do um, so that it's so easy for people to know what to do with the hot tub, what to do with uh, whatever it is, um, the fireplace mm -hmm. and on and on and on. So that is something that's, I think, more important than ever. And as you know, now short term rentals are so popular and so trendy and so comfortable, people are used to um, staying in areas that way. And guidebooks are something that people are almost automatically reading. You know, as soon as they have a spare second after they've gotten in, they set their bags down, you know, they go to the bathroom, and then it's guidebook time. And they, you know, pull out the guidebook and they want to, you know, that's where you find your Wi Fi info. Usually, it, usually it's on a wall too, but find your Wi-Fi info and they get that right away. And then they kind of flip through it and they figure out what's going on with the property. And so it is really important and it helps to shape the experience for the guests, which of course has a lot to do with the reviews. So last for thing sure. I wanted to ask you, Tammy, is for investors that are out there that are, that are considering hiring you as a short-term rental property manager, um, is, is the service that you're offering, is it a full service, meaning where you just take care of everything and, you know, they basically just, uh, they get the check, it, you know, in the mail or however you do that, or do they have a more involved role or how does that work? Full service, baby. <clears throat> cool. <laughs> yep. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds really good. It tends to be what most people want. And um, I think that's really critical. Because mm -hmm. if you're going to be good at it and you're going to handle that property manage it or property management, then um, might as well really handle that property management and, and make sure that exactly. they're successful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Awesome. Tammy, thank you so much. This was great. I really appreciate it. I know that the investors out there, the audience, they appreciate it too, uh, because you can help other people feel more comfortable about the whole process. And I'm glad this has worked out so great for you. And I'd love to have you on again at some point. For sure. I'd love it. Awesome. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Tammy. And uh, investors out there and audience out there, uh, reach out anytime when I can help you answer questions, address concerns, whatever it is. Let's get you out there and building your uh, investment portfolio and making some money. All right. Stay safe out there. Thanks for tuning in to the Equity Team Podcast. To speak with one of our top agents, visit us at ownaz.com. That's O W N I N az.com or call us at 928-323-0031.